day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Need to go back and, and wash his eyes again. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> we have to say to the question: How many more? How many are we institutionalized to keep the saints from growing, keeping them from having that fellowship with God? Recognize. I like. Go ahead. I, 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 listen, I'm in the same boat with everybody else. Yeah. Our flesh is just as flesh as any other man. Yeah. Yeah. But I am not going to preach anything that diminishes one I own. Yeah. yeah. What Jesus went to that cross to accomplish. Amen. If you've never seen it in my life. I pray that I will always hold up before you the truth of what he died for. I, you, That's what we're called to do. I, but I wanted to, I, I don't know if you caught this, what you were saying earlier, though, was the, we're emphasizing more of the what he did died on the cross opposed to that affection setting above you know pointing toward the things above toward the, the fact he's sitting on the right hand of god pointing that he's making daily intercession for us that, i'm talking about that that constant relationship where it gets here right because we're talking about initially we're talking about hearing the voice of god moment by moment but if we keep putting them on the cross then we're not going to you see what I'm saying, Brother Addison? If, 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 if the emphasis is on the cross opposed to the emphasis on the resurrection. Yeah. The, the cross, as you see, is all about forgiveness and atonement. Yeah, it, it's essential, but yeah. it's, 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 it's not the only thing. Right. The story, that, that's a song. That's Look, not how the story is. Yeah. <laughs> Look, ain't no sense in having people just look from the door. <laughs> Come to the doorway and just stand there. Right. Come and, on in. <laughs> and or, 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 the, or the reversal one in the, the, the church, I guess it's land of sin. Bishop, he's knocking at the door. Look, they're looking at the cross. He's knocking at the door. Yeah. He, he's knocking at the door. Look, I want to come in. You keep, you keep, you keep looking at the cross. I want you to understand I died on the cross. There's, a, there's my atonement. But look, I want to come in. Yeah, that's a good one. So they they keep knocking on the cross for it to open. And the and Jesus is knocking on us for us to open. Exactly. <laughs> yes. I tell the people, I tell the, I tell people the cross has two sides. You can look at it from the front or you can look at it from the back side. Uh-huh. On well, the back side, say you've gone through the cross, you've gone on. Okay, okay. Stand in the life. Okay, okay. But okay. you can always be in a position where you've already, you're always just standing in front of the cross. That's all you see. Wow. You never see the holiness and and the unclean thoughts and and the vain communication and the and the, the exalted ego and and the corrupted self. You never see because you see these things are pointed out to you. Once the life of God begins to seek its place upon the throne, it is when he's when the life of God seeks its place on your throne that these things get exposed. Okay, 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 okay. But he wants you to leave those things that expose. Well, he wants to bury those things that's exposed, right? The cross has a tendency that is not the it, it's, you know I'm just saying that this is resurrection Sunday. It's not so much of the Putting on the cross is a part about the burying and the resurrection. I mean, in other words, this, the continuation is. Look, like you said, the story didn't end there. No, it sure didn't. And if you can't get this part, the resurrection, then what are we doing? We miss because it. Because after this life, it's over with if you can't get the resurrection. Right, right. That, the resurrection that's the importance of this. Look here. He told he told Mary, I thought about that the other day. I said, man, that, that that that's a profound statement. He told Mary, I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection. 
the resurrection. Now you, now you think about that now. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? Hmm. I, I listen. I am the mean by which anything that that hadn't got up will get up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, and if it get up, it got up through me. Yes, sir. And if it don't come through me, it ain't getting up. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, that's sir. that's a serious statement. Yes, sir. He said, he, I mean, it's funny because he said, did not I tell you? <laughs> I told I you. Am, I am the new. Yeah. And, uh, I thought. I, yeah. I'm the new one right. that they put in the old bottle. Woo. Mm. Yeah. And it's funny because the girl said, I believe, Lord, that you are. <laughs> did you catch? Because it's, it's almost the mentality of ministry of what she said. This, Remember when she asked the question, when he asked the question, she she said, I believe that you are the Christ that will come, blah, blah, blah. It's not, I know I know my son will my brother will live again in the resurrection. Just, <laughs> you ain't gotta wait to then. <laughs> the resurrection is wherever I am. <laughs> the resurrection, right, right. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Yeah, that is right. What I'm saying is the mentality of both. I'm talking, and I like the mentality you're saying about the cross. That puts a different ministry opposed to, and Brother Matt, I'm saying is the mentality of sitting at the right hand of God, making daily intercession. Because how do I, Bishop, how do I think I'm hearing if I'm looking at the cross? Where's my mentality of hearing God? Hearing the voice of God, if I just look at the cross of them as opposed to beyond the cross. But that's only a certain thing he can say to you. Yes! You got that, Brother Isaac? That's only a certain thing he can say to you if you stick at the cross. Yeah! You, did that make sense? Say that again. Go ahead, tell him again, Bishop, because the bottom line is saying that you can't. If you, if you, if you stick at the cross, that's only a certain thing the Spirit of God can say to you. Yeah. Yeah. You see the difference? Yeah. You think outside the cross don't make sense? What are you talking about? Yeah. If you ain't embraced the life of God, then holiness and all of the things that pertain to the to his image. Like, they're like, what are you talking about? Yeah. I, who, who I'm hearing? I'm hearing a man that's been crucified on the cross. Or I'm hearing a man that rose resurrected. Then now sits. <laughs> make it his session. Who I'm talking to? See, I, I, I used to be dealing with people, people who stuck at the cross, generally are people who are coming to the altar quite, quite frequently. Yes. Because, okay. because they never get beyond, beyond the place where they understand and spend victory over something. Wow. So they're yes. saved by falling and sinning, and they repeatedly find themselves having to come back and compare, come back and repair, come back and repair. I ain't got a problem with that. Yeah. But we get a lifestyle of coming back and repair. Right. Come right. Back. There's, there's, there's much, more. much more. There's no lifestyle of trying to hear from God. If they I don't know that they can actually have victory over that thing that's plaguing their lives. Right. Yeah. That's it. That's... Jimmy, you, you want to say something? <laughs> that, that's deep. <laughs> that is deep. Brother, does that make sense though? Yeah. If I'm looking, how am I expecting to hear from somebody that's still on the cross? Say that again? How how am I expecting to hear if I keep looking at someone on the cross? As a matter of fact, how am I expecting to hear think I'm hearing from somebody that's that's dead? And or there. how can you move forward if you nail to the cross? Yeah, I know it. Right, right, right. What what is he saying to my fact? I, listen, one of the things about the Resurrection Sunday, uh, I was I was thinking a lot of people sit there and look from the cardinal part about the abuse that Jesus went through, leading up to the cross and actually being nailed to the cross, and saying that that's what he was agonizing over in the garden. But I think the agonizing was the separation of God on that cross. Cause he, he, that's the only time I saw him respond 
you know, in, a, in a such a dramatic way was when he said, my God, my God, why have thou forsaken me? Mm -hmm. 